East Texas paint artist will have her work showcased at a national exhibit. East Texas News Mary Ella Gonzalez shares her journey from college to having artwork featured in the nation's capital. Like I said, it takes me weeks, months to finish them, so sometimes like I have to bring it back to how it looks when it's wet to be more accurate. Arely Morales of Nacogdoches says she found her interest in painting as a student at Stephen F. Austin State University. I just fell in love with the materials, the challenge of, of creating images, uh, illustrations with, with paint. And over the last 10 years, Morales has painted over hundreds of paintings that focus on the Hispanic immigrant community in the U.S. I'm an immigrant myself, and I'm just very passionate about who I am, my identity, my heritage, my roots, and I want to show that in my work. Morales says she focuses on painting labor workers and humanity at the U.S. and Mexico border. And it kind of reflects on the experience of uh, many immigrants that decide to cross the border. And I, and I just wanted to show that that aspect of it, you know, how vulnerable they are, how dangerous it, it is. Uh, this is a, a moment that carries a lot of emotions, there's hope, there's fears. Morales says she found out this month that her work will have a place at the National Museum of Women in the Arts in Washington, D.C. First of all, I haven't shown much outside of Texas, so going to another state, that's, that's a big achievement for me. Morales says she is one of 28 women from all over the world to be featured in the Woman to Watch 2024 exhibition and is the only one to represent Texas. It's an effort to to give uh, women that are often um, underrepresented the opportunity to show their work nationally. And Morales says her goal with her paintings is for the Hispanic community to feel represented. I also want others outside our community to see to see us, you know, and uh, validate us and um, open up the the room for conversation about um, our humanity, our strength and our vulnerability as well. Mariela Gonzalez, East Texas News Weekend. Pretty cool. Now that exhibit will be from April until August of next year.